Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to draw the succulent plants in a bottle. Let's start. I'm going to draw this on the A4 canvas from Procreate. Let's rotate it this way. And here is the color palette, you can download it, link will be in the description. And first we are going to take this color for the background. Let's open the layers, go to the background color and pick this color. Tap on done. And now on the first layer we are going to draw the outline. Let's take the color, the black color here. And the brush I'm going to use for this is monoline. My brush size is 8% and first let's draw a circle. Hold your pencil on the screen and then put your finger on the screen to make this a perfect circle. Tap here on edit shape to move this circle. I'm going to move it a little bit here and now tap with your finger to finish this. Let's draw here the top part of the bottle. First an ellipse like that. And now two straight lines on the sides. Hold your pencil on the screen to make this a straight line. Let's draw a cork like this. And now we can draw a smaller circle in the middle. So again hold your pencil on the screen and then use your finger to make this a perfect circle. Use the edit shape to move it in the middle of the other circle. Like this. Tap with your finger on the screen. And now let's draw a wavy line here. This will be the sand. Now we can use the eraser tool to erase the line we don't need. Tap on it again. And here let's also pick mono line. My brush says he will be 100%. And I'm just going to erase the lines I don't want to see. So this line here. And then this line. And also this line. Now let's continue drawing the outline. Let's draw the cactus here. A shape like this. And now at the bottom like this here. Draw a simple flower here on top. And now we can draw the plant behind it. A wavy long plant leaves. And maybe one more here. And now again I'm going to use the eraser tool to erase the lines I don't want. So this line shouldn't be here. And also very small mistakes here like this. And we don't need this line here. Okay. Now let's make the brush size smaller, let's make it 1% and we can draw a small lines in the middle of those leaves. Let's draw lines in the middle of the cactus like that. And now we can draw small axes along them. Draw the axes also on the outside of the cactus. Okay, and now let's draw the back of the sand. So just a line here and here. Okay, this outline for now is finished, we can start coloring it. To do that, let's open the layers and tap on this layer and pick reference. 
Let's create a new layer and now move it under the layer of the outline. Let's take the color. Let's take this first color here and we can just drag and drop it into the cactus. If you have to, you can swipe your pencil on the screen, left or right, to adjust the color drop threshold. Let's continue coloring. And now I'm going to create a new layer to add new color. I will be keeping each color on separate layer. So let's take now this color here and with this color we are going to color the leaves at the back. Here, because there are many shapes to color, we can use continue filling or recolor. Make sure that the flat option here has a high number, mine is 97%, and now we can use this plus here to move it to the places we want to color. So let's move it here, and here, and here, and all the spaces we want to color. Now let's create a new layer for the flower. Let's take this color here and color it in there. And one more layer for the sand. So here I have this color prepared, but I actually now look at it and I don't like it. I'm going to change it. I'm going to take this color here and don't worry, I'm going to put it in the color palette for you too. Okay, I'm going to put it here for you. And now on the same layer, I'm going to color the cork. Let's take this color here and color it. Now I would like to add here one more plant, but for this I'm going to create a new layer with the outline. So first I'm going to tap on this layer here my first outline layer and I'm going to turn off the reference. Now let's create a new layer and we can draw new outline. Let's take the black color and here let's change the brush to 8% and we can draw a line here on the sand and we can draw one plant coming out of it and the second plant will be coming from here. Draw simple leaves like that along that line. Okay, now let's use the eraser tool to erase the lines we shouldn't see. So I think it will be just this line here. Now we can open the layers and set this layer to reference. Let's create a new layer and move it under the layer of the reference. Take a new color, let's take this color here and color the plant. All the leaves. Let's use here again the continue filling with recolor. Okay, this is finished. And now we can start adding shadow. First, let's turn off the reference on this layer. So tap here and turn off reference. Let's start adding the shadow with the cactus. So tap on the layer here and create a new layer above it. Tap on it and set it to clipping mask. Now let's take the black color and with the brush size 100%, we can start drawing shadow on it. Let's draw it on this side a little bit here at the bottom and now I'm going to make the brush size smaller, 20% and I'm going to draw on the right side of each line, like this. Okay, and of course I don't want to keep this black, I'm going to change the blending mode of this layer. So let's tap here and pick here overlay. Let's turn down the opacity of this layer, let's make it 15%. Now we are going to do the same with the other layers. 
So let's tap on this layer here and create a new layer above it. Tap on it and set it to clipping mask. Now we can right away change it to overlay and turn down the opacity to 15%. Let's make the brush size 100% and draw the shadow on the leaves here, like this. And now maybe I will make the brush size smaller, 14%. And I'm going to draw the shadow on the right side of each leaf. And on those leaves on the back, I'm going to color them in all the way. Now I'm changing the brush size again to 100% and I'm adding some more shadow here. I'm going to color behind the cactus like this. And those leaves in the back will be all in shadow. Now I'll bit shadow here on this side. And here like this. Now let's do the same for the flower. Create a new layer above it, set it to clipping mask, change the blending mode to overlay, and then turn down the opacity to 15%. Draw the shadow here like this. And now of course, let's do it for the sand. So tap on it, create a new layer above it, and set it to Clipping Mask. Change the blending mode to Overlay, and for this one I'm going to make the opacity 26%, and a little bit bigger than the other layers. I want the shadow here to be more visible. I'm making the brush 600%, and I will color the bottom part of the sand like this. A little bit more on the right side. Now my brush size will be 14%, and I will add the shadow here at the back. And now shadow from the cactus, like this. Changing the brush to 29%. Some shadow here on this side. And now I'm going to make here some small spots like this to make it look like, let's say, sand grains. I don't know, just to add some texture there. Let's add the shadow on the cork, just line here, and at the bottom. And now maybe let's draw some small dots. Now we have to still do the same for that last plant here. So let's tap on the layer of it, and create a new layer above it, and set it to Clipping Mask. Change the blending mode to Overlay and the layer's opacity 15%. Let's draw the shadow on the bottom part of each leaf. Okay, this is finished now, and now we can maybe add some light. For the light, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to set it to clipping mask. And for this, I'm going to take a new color, which I don't have here, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make it in a moment and add it to the color palette. So I'm going to take a very light yellow color, like this one. I'm adding it here. And I'm going to add light in some parts of the leaves. I'm not going to be adding the light on each leaf, just on a few. This should be enough. And now let's open the layers, and this blending mode should be set to hard light. And the layer's opacity, I'm going to set it to 38%. Okay, now let's do the same for the other parts of the illustration. So I'm not going to be making a new layer for each plant. Here I will just make one layer for all the plants there. So I'm going to create a new layer above the layer of the shadow for the sand. So here, and it will be for all those layers underneath it. 
Let me change the blending mode right away to hard light. And the layer's opacity, 29%. And I'm going to draw the light just in a few places. There should be enough here and just a little bit more on the cork. Now I would like to add some blue color to the bottle. To do that I'm going to create a new layer. Let me pick that blue color that I want to use, this one. And now back to the layers. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the layer of the outline of the bottle, so this one, layer number one, and I'm going to set it back to reference. Now let's go to the new layer, and now we can color the bottle like this. Let's color these parts too. And we have to still color the parts that have plants on. So now we have to turn off the reference on that outline layer, and now go back to the new layer here, and we can color it inside. There we go. So now we have this bottle in the blue color. Let's make it a little bit transparent. So let's open the layers, and just turn down the opacity of this layer. Let's set it to 91%. And now we can erase the middle of it. Let's use the eraser tool. Let's tap on it again, and here let's go to airbrushing and pick soft brush. My brush size will be 30% and I'm going to slowly erase the middle of it, like this. I'm leaving some of that blue color on the outside. Now I'm going to make the brush size 7% and I'm going to erase a little bit on that top part here. This should be enough, and now we can make one more layer to add the highlight to the bottle. Let's take the color, let's take the white color, and here my brush size will be 100%, and I'm going to add some lines of the light on the bottle. Not too many. Maybe one big one here, like this. And just one more here. Okay, and now this is almost finished. I still want to do something to the background. Let's open the layers. Let's go all the way down. Tap on the layer with the cactus and create a new layer. Let's move this layer under the cactus so it will be above the background. Let's go to the colors and pick black color. Change the brush to soft brush. And with the brush size 30%, Let's color the bottom part of the canvas like this. Now let's open the layers and we can change the blending mode of this layer to overlay. So it will be the darker version of the color underneath it. Okay, and one more thing I would like to add here will be some stars and dots around the bottle. Let's go back to the layers and go to the very top layer, tap on it and create a new layer above it. Let's take the white color and here I'm going to use my brushes from my stamp brush collection. If you're interested in them, you can check them out, link will be in the description. And I'm going to take here this one, pointed start field. My brush size will be 9% and I'm going to stamp few stars like this. Now I'm going to make the brush size 11% and I will stamp a star here on the edge of the bottle. And now maybe let's change the brush, let's take this one just the pointed star, and with the brush size 6%, I'm going to stamp it in a few places. And now one more bigger one, brush size 9%. And now I'm going to use the dot field brush. And with the brush size 2%, I'm going to add some dots around those stars. And now this is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please share your illustration with me on my Instagram, I would love to see it. And now I have a special shout out to my Patreon big fans. Thank you so much for being there with me and supporting me. 
Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!